because it's something you gentlemen need to hear and hear immediately. I've been hearing a lot of unfortunate stories and anecdotal evidence that is proving to me that we need to have a little bit of a chat. So I'm getting a lot of feedback from ladies who are either back in the dating world or they are doing online dating and just, you know, just feedback, organic conversation, if you will. And this is what keeps coming back up. You want some feedback from me? I'm going to give it to you. Let's talk about this honestly. Stop it. It's off-putting. It's weird, especially when someone's getting to know you. Welcome back to the La Dolce Vita Lifestyle Channel and the segment Flirting with Danger, where we talk about social dynamics, uh, being attractive to the ones that we want to be attracted to us, and generally being a better dater and being better out in the social world, being a better communicator, sales skills, social skills, and I'm often very honest with the ladies out there because I don't think they're very they're I think they're often lied to by society and by the people that are most close to them because they don't want their feelings hurt. And let's be honest, guys, we're part of that problem because we lie to them to get laid. Uh, but it's time for me to be honest with you men out there. It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. So it has come to my attention. Uh, it's been coming to my attention for many years now, but most urgently, the last couple of days, I've been hearing a lot of feedback from women who are either re-entering the dating world or they're new to this whole online dating sort of thing or, you know, or, or they go on a lot of dates and they just cannot seem, they get so frustrated with men for numerous reasons. Some of them earn, some of them are just, is confusion, but some of it is bona fide. It's bona fide on you, uh, men. And so this is one of those times. I hate to do it to you, but I'd want to hear it, you know, because then you can get better and be someone who's more attractive. They want to be attracted to you. They want to bridge the gap, but you got to give them something to work with, okay? So a lot of these women are wondering why on these social media on, their, on your social media, on your dating apps for sure, because it's really important on your dating apps. Why are you so quick to show off your body? Now, we'll get into, you know what I'm going to bring up here in a bit. <laughs> but we're going to get on to just, let's say your shirt off, okay? Why are you so quick to do this? Now, first thing I want to say is, you certainly, and on your dating app for sure, you want to highlight your best qualities, whatever those happen to be. OK, but remember, gentlemen, women are not attracted in the same way that we're attracted to them initially. Right. We're all about looks, all about sex appeal, all, all that. Right. But remember, even we in terms of dating now, in terms of just hooking up, then fine. But in terms of dating someone. Or just taking someone seriously, do you really want them showing off their body like overtly? in your dating app because it's being shown to every other guy what makes you special, right? That's going to be a turnoff. Now, you might hook up with that girl, <laughs> but ultimately you'll probably end up putting her in the, the equivalent of the woman's friend zone, right? So you're going to put her in the, oh, I'll hook up with her, but I'm never going to commit to her. I'm not going to seriously date her because it's too much too soon. And she's showing it to everybody. And it says a lot about her probably, right? Her behaviors, her characters outside of you. Right? Why would she do that? It speaks for her character. Well, you are not exempt from that. And women are not attracted. Of course, they're attracted visually. 
but give them a minute. Can you let them breathe? Can you let them get to know you first? Because remember, women are attracted here first and here. To get here, I say it often, I'll say it again, you got to go through here and through here. While the men's way to men's heart is through the stomach <laughs> and through the penis, <laughs> to the genital area, they're attracted and they have to get warmed up slowly, patiently. As I've said many times, in that process, in that relationship, seductive, romantic period, courting period, whatever you want to call it, whether you're looking for something long term or whether you're looking to hook up or whatever, you cannot skip steps. And they don't want to hear it, but you have to be patient. You get revved up very quickly because you're a guy. And and portions of your brain get activated a lot quicker. And other areas of your body get activated a lot quicker in terms of biology when you think about it, right? But they're not like that. And while they can be very visual, you have to warm them up first. And if you're throwing out a bunch of, especially if you're connecting with them one-on-one and you're sending them photos of yourself right away, even if they aren't graphic right away, it kind of speaks like, what is this? Patience. There is a time and a place for that, no doubt. But not right away, please. Okay, you're grossing me out, for God's sakes. Not one. It, it, it reeks of insecurity. Who are typically the guys that do this? Now, granted, as I said, you want to highlight your qualities. And some of them might be that you have a good beach body. Great. But get let them know your personality first. Become a good flirter. Connect with them. Ask great questions. You know, get to know them. Be curious about them. You know, and have a good conversation, like open-ended questions with, with great active listening skills. And we can make a video about that. It certainly is warranted and needed. From what I'm hearing. Um, but you have to have a connection first. You have to, connect, and it may not take you that long. If you're good, it won't really take you that long. But patience, you don't lead with it. So it, it reeks of insecurity. A lot of these guys are, you know, I don't want to call them meatheads. If you have a good body, that's great. But highlight other things, highlight your personality, your sense of humor, your flirtation skills. If you want to highlight vanity things like your body, and status, for example, maybe you make a lot of money or you have a nice car, or whatever. You can do so. I mean, it's not against the rules. All is fair in love and war. But I would recommend that you do so very casually, very candidly. So maybe you have a picture on there somewhere of, of all the other pe pictures of you and your dog, of you, you know, hiking, of you traveling, showing showing your value in that way, showing uh, maybe you reading a book. I don't know. S some cool, interesting things that you've done that you want to highlight. Right. Other than the vanity parts, showing that you're somebody that's interesting and intriguing that they want to might want to get to know. Right. Remember, women can have sex anytime they want. So you got to be more than just a body or moving genitals. You have to do something a little more, build some value. And the way you build value is being a guy like I just described, because so few guys do it. Be a great listener. Be someone who's a great conversationalist, a great communicator. Now, in order to be able to do this, you have to have that skill set, and you also have to be well-rounded, well-traveled, well-read, uh, curious about life, have had interesting experiences, or if you're too young for that right away, then you at least have to know where you're going. You have goals, you're passionate about something, you have a lot of interests outside of, of her, and, you know, that's attractive. In the meantime, you can highlight these things candidly by maybe like beach shot, like a one beach shot where you happen to be on the beach with someone, maybe other women even, with your shirt off. But it's not like a posing picture. It's not you in a mirror, right? Do you find a woman attractive to showing her ass in the mirror in a bathroom stall somewhere? I don't think you do. I mean, you find her attractive from the male sex perspective, but you're not finding her attractive to date. OK, so the, it's not it's not good. Even if a girl just wants to hook up with you, leading with that is not a good idea. Patience. OK, so I'm going to give you a story to highlight this, because now we're going to get into the next round. And I hate to say this. this. This pains me to bring this up. But some of you need to hear it. And I've heard this too many times now to let it slide any longer. The dick pics. We have to discuss the dick pics. 
Why do you think it's a good idea to lead with or get into showing your genitals so quickly? Look, I don't care if you're hung like a mastodon. It's not attractive to do that. Okay. It's not appealing. Women are not attractive in the same way. Yes, some of them will find it intriguing in some capacity. Probably not the woman you're going to want. But most of them are going to find it repulsive if you lead with that. Okay. Now, over time, if you play your cards right, you know how to deal your hand or how to play your hand. Yeah. Are, are, is that going to be appealing to, to some women? Uh, potentially a lot of women. I, in fact, I can tell you that a lot of women will eventually, if they're comfortable with you and you know how to properly turn them on and build sexual tension over time and you're patient and you don't push them and there's no pressure, then yes, they will reveal themselves that way to you. And then you, <laughs> you, stud, can reveal yourselves to them, <laughs> proverbially and otherwise. Um, but you shouldn't leave with it. So... <laughs> My buddy, who I've been friends with for years, has a brother. And really cool guy. I like, I mean, what, what my cool guy, I like him. I spent time with him. I've hung out with him in the past. I don't see him very much anymore. But we had a conversation years ago about, you know, what women like and things like that. And I gave him some advice on certain things or shared my opinion. And during this conversation, I mentioned that women love sex things. And they, they're also individuals a lot of times, and they're definitely into dirty talk with the proper caveats. Proper caveats being you're patient, they feel comfortable with you, you've built sexual tension, you've mentally stimulated them, you're emotionally intelligent, you get them going here, and they feel sexy around you, and they feel comfortable and then over time, if you're flirting properly and have some positive sexual innuendo and, you know, you've done all the steps, you didn't skip any, then they feel comfortable revealing themselves to you and it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Eventually, if you play your cards right, they're going to want to share. And even women who don't normally do that thing, that kind of thing, are going to feel compelled to do it. You made them feel that way and they're going to associate you with sexy feelings as they should. But you do not lead off with that, as I was saying. You gent gently, intelligently build that over time. And again, if you're good at it, it won't take that long. It's not like you got to wait years to do this. But you got to give them something. For shit's sake, you got to give them something. So don't jump right there. Be the opposite of what most of these guys do, which is go right to the sex. Even if a woman wants that. You got to reach her emotionally and intellectually first. You can't just jump into it because well, we can because we're men. Although you would never date a girl like that, you'd have, you'd hook up with her, but you wouldn't date her because you wouldn't take her seriously. She'd have respect, right? So, same thing, same principle applies. She's not even going to let you in the bedroom if you're not playing your cards right. So anyway, this this guy, all those things that I said, and I was telling him how about you know how I, my experiences with sexting and sending photos of all sorts of things. And he, I guess that's what he took from the conversation or the only thing, but it lacked context. So he was, <laughs> so when he was uh, dating, <laughs> he was leading with this. He was sending pictures of his mini me and they were being repulsed and they were ghosting him immediately. Oh, well, yeah. And then my buddy comes back to me and goes, dude, my brother's brother's like annoyed with me because I told him you can't be sending them dick pics like that. And he goes, well, Jason told me to. He said that was cool. And, and he goes, I can promise you he didn't say it like that. No, no, I didn't. I didn't say it like that. I didn't say to do that. Yes, you can do that. And it's it's highly encouraged once you get them comfortable you have to prime the pump first just like you know just like if you were in bed with them are you going to go right in there and get dirty i hope not are you going to go in there and jump on her and well certain situations call for that but generally speaking i hope you'll warm her up i hope you're at least that considerate i hope you have foreplay and by the way the biggest foreplay in the world for a woman happens right here and right here you warm her up over time 
You can at least do that much. For shit's sakes, it's not that hard. Give her something to work with. All right, that's enough beating you over the head. We will have further conversations and and you know, maybe maybe I'll do a video or two about communication skills, building sexual tension over time, what to do in lieu of sending dick pics immediately. Hey, how you doing? You want to see my dick? All right, something alternative to that. Many things alternative to that. Uh, and maybe talk about you dirty talk. How do you talk dirty when once you get her there? You know, start off with a little bit of dirty talk, maybe some sexual innuendo, definitely some banter and playfulness, and then gradually build her over time to where she feels comfortable with you. And then eventually you let it all hang out. I mean that in any way sense possible. If she's down for that, I'm down for that, right? Whatever she's down with, I'm I'm gonna steer her in the direction she already wants to go anyway, believe me. But I got to make sure that she feels comfortable with it. We're not, there's no pressure in this administration. Oh, no. This is a finesse close, if you want to make a sales analogy. All right, we're going to finesse this. This is not something where she's going to feel pressure to do something. I don't want anyone to feel pressure for me to do anything. That's not hot. That's not sexy. And I got to be honest with you. Every guy in the world is sending her pictures of, the, of their dick. Why are you special? I don't care what it looks like. It's gross. It's freaking weird. Stop doing that. And if a woman led with that, it would be weird too, wouldn't it? Now, if she sent it eventually, maybe even short term, if you both hit it off really quickly, maybe she sends it. But you're not going to lead with it. <laughs> okay? Don't be so easy. Be a little hard to get. Leave a little mystery, right? Leave them wanting more. Be a showman. That is all. So until next time, remember, smash the like button, please. Share this for, for a guy that needs to hear it, because there are plenty of them out there, my God. And, uh, you know, keep it moving. And don't forget to subscribe for future conversations that you may need to hear. Until next time, don't forget, live dangerously.